Hello Scorpio, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux by Cyril Marchetti. Uh, the website here is usgamesinc.com. Feel free to check that out if you would like to, of course. Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. There's a Hay House website here in the back. Feel free to check that out if you want to. Feel Okay, of course, you know, freeze frame if you need to. Of course. Oh, of course. Uh, Scorpio. I'm busting out of the trap. That's the first thing I'm getting is busting out of the trap. What's, what's, what's going on with that? No. Ooh, you were definitely busting out of this trap. <laughs> um, hmm. I've had it. My first thought is like, I've had it. So identifying that you've had it, you're done, that's not the difficult part. I feel like the difficult part is like, all right, I'm 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 fed up with it. But it, to me, it's almost like having that job th where you make good money, but you're like, this is not acceptable anymore. Or it's having that family member that you're like, I'm not going to abandon them. But what's going on? This isn't working, and I got to find a way to fix this without damaging it. I gotta find a way to fix it without damaging it. Cause I really, I just wanna like grab somebody and just shake them. Like, listen, I've had it. Um, this is unacceptable and you need to stop. But I'm like, okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I, it's kinda like, I realize that's not gonna work um, for whatever reason. The first, the first thing to overcome this situation is to let go. So in other words, whatever you need to do to secure the situation for yourself, do that. So, like, if, if you're if you're picking up the pieces for somebody else, or especially if it's a work situation and you keep picking up the slack for somebody else, maybe find a way to not do that, but not let yourself look bad. Like, I feel like I have to like move my energy to where I'm centering on what my responsibilities are and less what somebody else's is. And for some reason that takes a lot because kind of like I don't want this to fail but I have to let it start failing a little bit if I expect this to get better. It's like I have to go, I have to drop my grades to raise my grades. That's kind of how I, I don't know how else to say that. It's kind of like, you know, we've been making it with like an 82, 82 and this is not satisfactory. I need to get a better grade. I need to know this inside and out to really succeed here. So I'm letting it drop down to like the 60s so that I can get up to like the 90s to 100 here. That's kind of the analogy. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm making it, it's succeeding, but this isn't right. I'm doing all the work and both of us are getting the credit. So I'm, I'm the one getting the 82 and me and this other person are getting credit for the 82 and they're not putting in the work. But the thing is, by me doing both both of our work, I'm being cheated out of the 100 or the 98. I could be getting a 98 or better if I was just if it was just me. If they would pull their weight, we could both get better. I could get better. So I have to let this start failing to fix this because this is going to highlight that there's a problem here. And they're going to start looking bad too. It's kind of, it seems almost counterproductive, but it's what we need to do to cleanse this out. Um, letting go. So it's kind of like, I'll keep doing my side and it'll be proven that I can do mine, but I'm not going to do this for them. I'm not going to let them skate by. I'm not going to let them have my grade because they're cheating me out of a better grade. That's I keep feeling something like that. That reminds me, it's kind of like, I was never a fan of like group activities <laughs> ever because there's always that person who manipulates it. It seems like there always was. And then the rest of us pull forward and the other people just kind of ditch. I don't know. It's annoying. I don't like it. Um peeve apparently um 
when this, if, if you start doing that, mm. something comes to light. I'm all like sarcastic with it too. Um, I'm like, mm -hmm. they've been they've been doing other things. It feels it's kind of like all right. There's this group activity. There's you and we're just gonna say two people, you and somebody else, just to make it simple. You've been getting this 82. They are barely doing any work, but then you start letting it slide, and then you find out they've been doing something else for somebody else. Like they've been. It's almost like they're working on another course. They're excelling in some other subject. While you're doing the work for this course and they're skating by, they've been doing work on another course and actually excelling in a whole different subject. And you're like, whoa, that's not right. That's not right at all. Like, you're pulling ahead in this other area. Like, wait a minute. It's kind of like, you know, you're in science class. You've been putting in all the work. Meanwhile, they're studying Spanish and, you know, doing great in Spanish. But you're like, that's not right. That's, that's, that's like, <laughs> I would love to, so you, maybe you have a different, maybe you're studying French and you're like, I would love to take the time to excel in French or something like that during this time instead of actually putting it in here. But I'm doing what I'm supposed to. This isn't right. This is not right. Because you're, you're realizing they're taking their energy and they're putting it totally somewhere else. And you're like, that's not right. That's not right the way you're doing this. Um, there's more coming in, but I'm just like, because I feel like once you, once that gets pushed forward, I feel like it's painfully obvious what's going on here. Um, this person can't afford to let this subject fail. And when you're not going to enable them to do what they've been doing, because you know, like they've been like grabbing Peter to pay Paul is what it feels like. When you, when this is outed and you can see what's going on, I feel like other people are also very angry. Other people are kind of like, that's not right. That makes this person look like they're a lot better than the rest of us, and they're not. They're cheating the system. It just people are getting angry. Other people are keeping an eye on this person. Other people are helping you keep an eye on this person because it's almost like people are feeling like it's not right. This person is acting like they're doing all these things and they're only doing a couple. And they're getting the accolades as if they're doing all this stuff and they're really not. Other people other people are getting involved. I feel other people are definitely getting involved. And getting very bent out of shape with this whole thing. This seems to be, like when I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles coming in, I feel like this is how the balance is being struck. Is the Six, that's the Five. See... When I get the Five of Pentacles, that usually to me feels like being left out. But I feel like a lot of people are feeling left out due to this situation. And the destiny is kind of like once people see it, it does feel like to me like it's balancing it though. It really does. Because other people are going to be giving this person a hard time so that you don't have to keep an eye on them. You just you just got to make sure it's... Like you don't have to keep an eye on them. You just have to make sure that your effort is matching your, your result. It does seem like other people are balancing this for you. Things go a lot better after that. Because I, I do get healing, and I get that you're a lot happier. There's, It does seem a little bit mysterious how it's actually going to your benefit, because I'm getting there's a lot of quick choices that happen coming forward. Somebody else comes in and makes some changes. Because I feel like when they get the King of Cups here, I feel like this is a new energy coming in. Once they realize what's going in, they're helping you balance this. Um, the person, the other person who wasn't really on point, they don't seem to be all that happy, but they're figuring out what they need to do. I, I feel your energy kind of pulling back after this from this person. And it all seems to like re realign it's almost like it's like i feel like it's like i'm looking at this these stacks of books th that they're supposed to be in the bookcase and i feel like somebody's not only putting them where they, they're putting them in the bookcases but they're putting them in the categories they're supposed to be in so that they can be found the way they're supposed to it reminds me of a library when you have those carts of all the books it's kind of like well the books are all there they're just on the carts you got to fish through the, through the carts to find them and then somebody's like okay that's not working let's take these carts pull them all together and like put them on the shelves where the books are supposed to go so they can be found when they're needed 
but that's how the but you're not the one taking them off the carts. Other people are because they're they're sick of like trying to go through all these carts and digging through all these books to find what they need. There's there's definitely some heartbreak here, but with I shouldn't have laughed, but it's kind of funny. But somebody's sorting it out. There's there's gonna be some heartbreak. I have a feeling you're not gonna be upset about it though. I don't think you're the one gonna have any heartbreak. Other people are gonna get called out and basically told. It's almost like somebody's gonna realize you, as the Scorpio, did all this work for all this time. And then, like, for example, if it was a science class, maybe this went on for four or five months just for argument's sake. So it's almost like the leader, the professor, the teacher, whoever that person is, is saying, all right, you know what? You're They're gonna give that person a test. And they wanna see from the last five months what this person actually knows and they don't really it's like they fail that so it's almost like they might even fail out of the course kind of like well you know you're failing this one so <laughs> i can't let you drag down the class you're going to have to leave it might be something like that because i'm getting somebody might be very upset about the outcome but when i see the empress coming in it's kind of like well this is what's best for everybody and I can't let you bring everybody down, so you're gonna to have to go back, and you're gonna to have to you're gonna to have to wait till next year and take this whole course again. Sorry, because you don't know what you're doing. You didn't learn it, and there's too much to go over to catch you up from the last five months because you weren't really paying attention. You were just skating along, so you're gonna to have to take this course again. Um, it might be something like that, like it's an analogy. I know that, but. Because I'm getting they're blocked and they can't, they think they're going to get through this situation, but they don't really know what they're doing. And they've been skating through without actually putting in the work, so they don't know what's going on. If this was a work situation and you were working with somebody and they were, they were supposed to do half the situation, they've almost made themselves worthless because since you've been doing all the work, you understand why this is there, why that's going like that, why this is happening like this. They can't come in and help because they don't know why anything is working. They haven't been paying attention. They haven't been helping. They haven't been working. So they don't know why this is there. They don't know why that's there. You do because you did it. You made it happen. So you know why that's there. This person doesn't. They have to be removed. They're just holding the whole situation back. Ace of Wands is where I see this ending up for you. You got a lot more. You're going to move on past this. You're going to do what you need to do. Um, you're going to push right through. Once it moves on, I don't feel like you're sitting here worried about this other person. They did what they did to themselves. That's their problem. I feel like you're gonna have a lot more doors open for you. You got a lot more things you gotta do. Kind of like, well, I can't sit here and feel bad about it. I gotta move on. This person, um, I feel like this might be a case also of like you know, when they say don't work with your friends, because it's easier to be friends with somebody until you have to work with them. Because when they have their work ethic first, your work ethic. Also, when you get like you know people want to move ahead, and they have situational morality going on there. I don't know. It's it just feels like that. Like this is somebody maybe you would get along with as a friend outside of the situation. But when you actually have to work with them, it doesn't match up and it could actually I don't think this is going to destroy the friendship on your side, but they might have issues with it and it might destroy it on their side, just to be fair. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email. James for astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.